So today is the meditation for February 15th, which all around the world people are starting to celebrate this, uh, I think it's American holiday, Valentine's Day, where you show the people that you love, how much you love them, um, you take them out to dinner, you get um, flowers and candy and hugs and kisses. But the day after, I want to remind us of what we already know, is that things don't always go well in a love relationship, in a family, among friends. And there's a story from Luke, Luke chapter 4, where Jesus returned back to his home area. It said, in the power of the Holy Spirit. He'd just come through the temptations. He was blessed by God. The voice of the Father said, you're my son whom I love and I'm well pleased in you. And then he comes after um, teaching in many synagogues in the region, comes back to his hometown where you think he would be welcome with open arms. And of course he was. And because he had a habit every week of going to synagogue, he went and he participated. He wasn't just sitting on the back bench. He was actively engaged in his faith like you are listening to this devotion. And so he read the scripture for them that day. And he said that the Lord has sent me to tell good news to those that are suffering. And that's one of my favorite passages. And he begins to talk about how God has sent him to be a blessing to them. And at first, the Bible says, all spoke well of him and marveled at the gracious words from his lips. They even asked, is this Joseph's son? Is this, is this a guy from our hometown? So everyone was a fan of him. Everyone was glad to have him back. But then he went one step farther. And this is where the conflict in relationships often come. He didn't wait for the conflict to occur. He said, there is going to come a time when I don't give you what you want, when I disappoint you. You're going to say to me, why don't you do the wonderful things that I've heard you've done in other places here? And you see that in relationships all the time. You know, you're so nice at work. You're so nice to strangers. You're so nice to others. Why don't you love me that way? And Jesus just told them up front. He said, you're very happy with me right now, but you're not always going to be happy with you, me. And then there's the response of the crowd, the response of the people at synagogue, at basically church people type, right? Us, his home, those who loved him, they just got so mad. And you see that kind of alienation and estrangement in relationships all the time. It says they got so mad they drove him out of town and took him to a cliff on which the town sat. And they tried to throw him off the cliff and hurt or injure and kill him. And of course Jesus... It wasn't his time, and he just walked right through the crowd, and he went on. And so what the, is the, there's two lessons for us as followers of Christ, of people who Jesus said, we'll have the same things happen to us. It's that we don't stop our habits. We still go to those that we love. We still keep our weekly worship, our daily devotions, weekly worship, monthly missions, annual adventures. We live a life that's prioritizing God. But we also speak truth, and we realize that we can't please everyone. And then we have to know that up front, and they have to know that up front. And even Jesus couldn't please everyone. But see, not only realizing, accepting that reality of life like Jesus did, but also realize what he did with this. When everything was said and done, he didn't hold a grudge. He just walked away. He shook the dust of his hometown off his sandals, and he moved on to where God went. He didn't talk bad about them. He didn't call fire from he he heaven to punish them. He didn't pray for that they'd change their mind. And that's one thing in relationships family, friends, co-workers, church relationships that we often have trouble doing is letting go and moving on. And sometimes God sends those broken relationships so that we can help others. And sometimes God sends those broken relationships so we can grow as people. But often God sends those relationships to send us somewhere else because He's got a, a better place, a greater place, a different place for us to grow and make connections and in that phase of our life to become a part of a, of a new family, a new neighborhood, a new group. I pray that God, this Valentine season and the, the spring that's coming will awaken in your heart this idea that there is always something God has abundantly, God has planned new in your life. And as you see the green trees and the grass sprouting, the flowers come up, you're like, you know, God's going to do that in my life too. I don't need to always mourn and always grieve the things that people have done wrong. I don't need to be bitter about those things. I can be better because I'm going with God and He's going with me. God bless you and thank you for sharing this time of devotion with me.